Solar Flare Update for August 24. Starting off today with the latest solar flare, observed on the LASCOC2, filter. Now seen using the ink filter. Using this difference filter, the flare is observed much better. I'll loop the clip once. The flare seen on the LASCOC3 filter, as it expands out through space, heading toward Earth. Using this CME model, the flare is mapped, as stated before the flare's direction is Earth-bound, and the 27th looks to be the day we get a light radiation shower. This flare classification chart shows within the last 24 hours there have been one, C-class flare and the rest has been B-class or lower. Within the last three days, there has been four C-class flares in all, with the rest being B-class or lower. When a solar radiation storm occurs in the future, this is the definition of said occurrences. A solar radiation storm, also known as a solar proton event, or SPE occurs often after major eruptions on the Sun when protons get launched at incredibly high speeds, sometimes up to several 10,000 km per second. These radiation storms can bridge the Sun-Earth distance in as little time as 30 minutes and last for multiple days. This is an S, scale, it indicates the severity of a solar radiation storm. This scale ranges from S1 to S5, with S1 being the lowest level and S5 being the highest level. Every S level has a proton flux unit threshold associated with it. Solar radiation storms are not dangerous for people on Earth. We are protected from these storms by Earth's magnetic field and Earth's atmosphere. Satellites out in space and Earth's power grids are also vulnerable to a strong magnetic storm. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.